happy Monday. Happy, happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Good to see you guys. It's Monday, April 2nd already. Can you believe it? I hope you guys had a wonderful uh, resurrection day. Hope you guys was blessed. What's up, Mimi? How you doing? Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday, happy Monday to you and Kev. Tell my boy, I say, what up? What up, what up, what up? What's up, Pastor JP? Good to see you, man. Share it out, tag people, tag, tag, tag. Two words, two words that will not only bless you, but it will bless your generations to come. You know, we've just come through a, an awesome weekend, you know, celebrating Resurrection Day with the family. You know, it's always an awesome time to be able to sit with family and be able to break bread and just uh, think back over the times that uh, the Lord has blessed us as a whole and how he's granted us time to be with our family. So if you have your family, you need to cherish every single moment. Cherish it. Cherish it, cherish it, cherish it. But I want to share with you guys today two words that will literally bless you and bless your generations. And they come from a scripture that I really like, and that's Psalms 37 and 4, where he says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Two words, delight and desire. If you delight yourself, see it's conditional. If you delight yourself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. What are you desiring today? What have you been desiring? If you give everything that you have to the Lord, guess what? He's going to bless you bountifully. People don't like to give. People don't like to give of themselves. That's the, I call that a, a stingy mentality. A stingy heart will reap stinginess. But if you want to be blessed of God, it's two words, delight and desire. He'll give you the desires of your heart. Think about that. There's things that you want in life. There's things that you've been uh, desiring in life. How do you get those? How do you acquire those? It's very simple. Delight yourself in the Lord. It, it doesn't get any easier than that. That's, that's, that's mind-blowing in itself. When you can just delight yourself in God, just giving yourself to him, giving him in service and deeds in your life, you know, meditating and, and being, being obedient to him. That's how you can get the desires of your heart. How did I get Christine? I delighted myself in the Lord first. When I got self out the way and I started seeking after God and I started really going after the things of God, that's when he started opening the door. What up, Big E? Good to see you, man. A lot of you that are in business, a lot of you are being blessed in business. Do you realize where those blessings are coming from? It's not of your own. Yeah, you're talented. Yeah, you're skillful. Yeah, you have a lot of, uh, as they say, um, get up and go. But you know what? When you are truly obedient to the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. Those are the two words that I wanted to talk to you about today and share with you on how you can not only bless yourself, but you can bless your generations to come. Teach your children. Teach your children how to delight themselves in the Lord. Teach your children how they can be blessed in God and of God by being obedient to him. You don't have to be super religious. You don't have to be super righteous to know that these principles are important to be able to be blessed in your family, be blessed in your home, be blessed in your field, be blessed when you come, when you bless, when you go. This is all biblical principles. And it's very important to understand that in order to be blessed, you have to bless. It's a give and take. Desire is given when you delight yourself in the Lord. Now, let's look at that on natural side. When you, when you delight yourself in things, don't you know that, or let's put it like this, in education. Delight yourself in education. You know, we're going to put a spin on this. You delight yourself in education. You study hard. You do what it takes to 
uh, pass all the tests. What do you think your desires are going to be? Your desire is to get good grades. And guess what? You're going to get those good grades. You're going to be on the dean's list. You know, when I was getting my master's or my, actually my bachelor's degree and I started getting on the dean's list, that was a surprise to me. Yeah, me. That was a surprise to me because I was always constantly getting letters from the the administration office. Oh, you made the dean's list. You made the dean's list. I'm like, I ain't never made no dean's list or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but I started delighting myself and in the things of God delighting myself and as simple as reading his word as simple as praying and trusting God and giving myself to him that's when all my desires started to come into pass that's when all my desires started to come true you know I started getting better grades started getting good grades and then when I got into my master's program uh, I went through my master's program so quick, I didn't know what happened. You know, it was like as soon as I started, I was done. But the thing about it was I was obedient to the Lord. I trusted God. I gave myself to him. I delighted myself in the Lord and he gave me the desires of my heart. And I was able to graduate early through my master's program. That was nothing of myself. I didn't add that was nothing of me. It was all me being obedient to God and being obedient to him and allowing God to use me. So with that, you guys, all of you that are watching, all of you that are listening, you can have the desires of your heart if you delight yourself in the Lord. Look it up. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. It's so easy to be blessed in the world today. It's so easy to obtain riches and wealth, good health, uh, the cars and the homes and all the, the tangible things in life that we desire to have. How do we get that? Yes, through hard work. It goes without saying, through hard work, through studying, through sacrificing, through giving up. These are, the, these are the other ways of getting what you want in life on the natural side because if you don't work hard, you're not going to get anything. You're not going to be rewarded with anything. You know? But if you delight yourself in God, He's going to give you everything that you desire. He's going to give you all the desires of your heart. What do you desire today? What is it that you're wanting out of life? What is it that you want? You want good health. You want riches. Do you want wealth? Do you want homes, cars? You know, people say, oh, that's not important. Oh, you know what? Money is important. It ranks right up there with breathing. Try this. If you don't think money is important, if you don't think money is all that in serving God, when you go down to pay your light and gas bill, take your bill, put it on the desk, and say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and walk out. See what happens to your light and gas. <laughs> See what happens to that bill. They might call security before you get out the door. Security, right? Common sense. You got to be wise in things. Yes, money's important. You don't always have to be in a case where it's money, 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 money. No, but money's important. To get what you want, to get what you desire, to get what you like, to get what you truly wish for in life and dream, it takes money. But on the outside of that, it also takes you being obedient to God, being obedient to God, and being obedient to God. So with that, this has been your boy Eminem. It's been short today, but you know what? It's short and powerful. Two words that will change your generation. And Ebony, how are you? Change your generation's generation. It will bless you. Desi delight and desire. Delight yourself in the Lord. And he'll give you the desires of your heart. If you don't believe me, try it. God says, test me. Try me. See if I don't, if I don't stick to my words. See if I don't do what I say. Man, I'm like, yeah, let me try this. Let me try to see what happens. You know, when we was growing up, they used to say, I double dog dare you. I dog dare you. I double dog dare you. Right? Well, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Is put god's word to test see if he won't prove himself to be true to you if you're obedient if you love him if you sacrifice for him if you give your all to him god will open up things for you he will open up doors that you will had no 
idea how these doors opened. Look at all the doors that he's opened for you already. Look at all the many things that God has already blessed you with. He's blessed you with a good mate. He's blessed you with a good home. He's blessed you with cars. He's blessed you to pay your bills. Was it easy? No, not all the time. But when those bills were paid, when that car note was paid, when that mortgage was paid, when that gas and light was paid, did you stop to thank God? I thank you for paying this bill, helping me to pay this bill. Lord, I, I desired for this bill to be paid because I didn't know where the money was going to come from. But you made a way. We don't really sit down and look at the facts and look at look at how God has opened up ways for us to pay for what we need, to pay for the, the necessities of life. It's all God, guys. It's all God. Whether you understand it or not, whether you realize it or not, everything that we desire is in God. Everything that we want is in God. Read his word. Allow his word to open up in your mind and allow him to open up in your heart so you can see that it is God that's blessing you. You know, there's a lot of people that 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 don't believe in God. They don't serve God. But you know what? It's funny. Even an atheist, <laughs> even those that consider themselves to be atheists, you know, they they they, they do it as a, a as a joke. Or a, a slight of words. Oh, I thank God. What? Excuse me? You what? What? Really? Let him get in trouble. Oh, God, help me. Who you? Who are you talking to? You said you didn't believe God. It takes more faith to believe there isn't a God than really to believe that there is a God. It really does. You know, you, you have faith. They have faith. Trust me, they got faith. They have faith. <laughs> Atheists think they don't have faith, but they got faith. But you know what? I just wanted to come on and share with you guys today on this Monday. This is Eminem's Monday motivation for you. You know, I'm kind of taking a break from the treadmill, give my back a break. But I wanted you guys to know that there was two words that will bless you and bless your generations to come. And it comes from Psalms 37 and 4. Delight and desire. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart you don't have to believe me matter of fact I don't even want you to believe me read it for yourself <laughs> read it for yourself you don't have to take my word read it for yourself Psalms 37 and 4 if you delight yourself in the Lord guess what he's gonna give you the desires of your heart that means anything that you want within reason God is gonna give it to you don't take my word for it trust the word trust God all right guys I pray that you guys have a blessed day today I pray that you guys had an awesome weekend that you were able to spend time what's up Michelle good to see you sis that you guys had time to spend with your family and remember what this season was all about and what this season is about the resurrection of Christ and hopefully that he has resurrected in your life you know I had said I believe it was on Friday was that Friday I think it was Friday um, that God had told me this little, this, 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 I had an epiphany where he said that uh, you were born to die so you could live. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like a, a head scratcher. You were born to die in order to live. All right, guys, remember this. Remember to love God, love yourself, and love others. It comes easy when it's in that order because we want you to live, we want you to hope, and we definitely want you to change for the better. Bless someone this week. Give them that scripture, Psalms 37 and 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. It's a fact. Christine, I love you, honey. See you in a few minutes. All right, guys. You guys take care. Be blessed. Be blessed and be blessed. We'll definitely see you on the other side. All right, guys, I'm out.